really get a Friday off. Miss me on YouTube? Well, you found me here. This is where I'm live at. Now, oh, look at that critical uh, meditator with a ghost. I'm glad you found me. Make sure that you follow uh, my main account. Well, this is my live one. Ugh. I'm just going to clean. <sighs> Trent, Trent, Trent. I know everybody wants to talk about that. Um... So, the other night, if you were watching, I kicked him out. <laughs> Katie went live the night before. And as she will explain, getting mad, waking Trent up and kicked him out of her house. She got mad when the chat was talking about the fact that his wife just filed for divorce. And some of Katie's people talked about the fact they had been chatting with Big Titty Trent. Katie wasn't having it. She was drunk and fired up. Not that that's an excuse. I kicked him out. <laughs> so... We've been like. Sorry, her TikTok keeps freezing. I swear she is using her parents' internet. When she was at their house last week, her internet was fine. Then she went to her house and it starts messing up again. I don't know. He's like, I need a night to think. And da -da -da -da. I was like, fuck that. I was like, I don't play those games. He's like, I need a night to think. And da -da -da -da. I was like, fuck that. I was like, I don't play those games. If we have a problem, we need to talk about it immediately. I'll get really upset if I sit there and think about it. You got like last year, he's had the same apartment since June of this year. I met him in like late July and he has his own place. They don't even talk like they do talk, but not like that. Um, they had to sell their house and once they sold their house, uh, they filed for her divorce. Well, the attorneys did. That's that situation. So it's not like when people say, oh, and he said, no, they don't fucking live together. They're not, you know, locking crotches, swapping gravy, fucking talk. Because there's been days where I've hung out with them all day and shit. And when he does have to pick up the phone for her, he's like, he has a whole different tone. Not like a, you know what I mean? So... He's all saying, I told him, to, so last night he went out with his friend, so I went out with my friend. And he ended up figuring out where I was. I sent him home because people were telling me that he was talking to people, um, you know, behind my back, like talking to chicks behind my back. And a lot of girls in the chat were saying that. So he ended up showing me his phone and he talked to like Bella and everyone that he talked to was about me. It wasn't like hooking up or nothing like that. But still, when I was drunk and hearing that, I didn't want to, you know, it pissed me off. So it's like, get the fuck up and get the fuck out. I don't want him talking to any of my constituents at all. No, this was the night after. We've had kind of a wild week. Then, last night, I thought everything was fine. I agree. Week. Then, last night, I thought everything was fine. I agree. Critical potato, I agree too. Yeah, this was the next night. <laughs> the night he came back, that was one thing. And that was that was nice of him. Yes, I will agree. I thought that he had left, left. No, he went to go get food. Anyways, I was fucking on one that night. And the next night, chicks in the chat were saying, oh yeah, we talked to him, something that pissed me off. Plus, everyone wanted to make it out like, you know, they went to my case and looked up his shit to where he was getting a divorce and... I don't know. It just hit me wrong, I guess, at the time. And we still haven't really gotten to talk about it. We tried to talk about it last night, and I thought that we were... Yes, yeah, spring food was a clutch move on his part. Um, I felt like we were getting somewhere with the whole whatever. Then he started drinking, I started drinking, and then I don't know if he had was drunk or what, but... 
Yeah, he was, okay? And I could tell because he kept talking out his ass and just not being normal Trent. I was like, great, he is drunk. And I wasn't even that drunk at this point because I didn't get off till late. And then um, we were out in his car talking. And he fell asleep. And I was like, I'm going inside, man. Come inside. I kept telling him, come inside. And he kept dozing off. So I fucking come inside. I was like, all right, I'm going to go pee. Then if he's still not in here, I'm going to go back out there and wake his ass up and tell him to get in the fucking house. I go to pee. I come back out. His ass is gone. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm just like, whatever at this point. What the fuck ever. I haven't talked to him today at all. And I'm just like, I'm having a shitty day. My, like I said, my parents' dog passed away this morning, and I had to go to work and shit, and I got back from work thinking that we would, they didn't even wait for me to go, uh, take the body to the vet. They went ahead and took it, uh, so I'm, like, bummed out. I do. I tell people all the time, but I got haters, and this is what I'm trying to explain to him. He does not know anything about this world, now, okay? Here's where I went wrong. I didn't even ask him if he wanted to be part of this world. Like, if you're part of my life, other than, like, some of my friends absolutely refuse to be on camera for one reason or another, and if they tell me that, I totally respect it, and I'm like, whatever. But if you come over here, you hang out, you're subject. I'm going to put a fucking sign on the door. You're subjected to be live on TikTok. Or another social media platform at any given time. It's okay. She was old. We knew it was coming. We just didn't expect it today kind of thing. You know what I mean? So, and my mom's happy that she did pass away the way she did. And she didn't have to go put her down. So, it pisses me off. I tried to explain this to him. When I'm on here and you see people talking to me, yes, I got a lot of lovers, but what you don't see, and or maybe you do, I got a lot of haters too. And these people will go behind my back, try to talk to you to get information on me or whatever the fuck they're trying to figure out because they don't know you, no offense, they don't fucking know you. They're out to get me. <clears throat> and that's what they'll do. Undercover haters. They'll act like they're your friend and he'll get to talking or something or anybody. And I say, I give this spiel to all my friends. They will start saying things, and you could say the smallest thing, and they will blow a fucking story into it. You know? So, I don't know why anybody would fucking do that. Like, I, do you guys, you guys hardly, if you send me a message, you're lucky to get a fucking response back. That's just how I am. I couldn't imagine fucking contacting one of your boyfriends, or someone you're dating, or your, a fucking family member, or shit like that. It's weird. Who does that? Who the fuck does that shit? She likes to harass. So I was giving her a phone call to see if we could work something out before it gets ugly. Are you her grandfather? Bearing in mind this is an old man that she's yes, calling. Okay, and do you know she spends a lot of time on the internet causing problems? This is a grandfather. Oh, yes, she does. In fact, her screen name is Bella Morte. And um, she goes around under this name and says horrible things. Like, she told people that she was raped not too long ago. Is that true? Wow. I'm not going to continue this conversation right now. Bye. Didn't think so. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that really happened. Katie used to ring people up often. You heard what she asked. You heard her burst into laughter when he hung up the phone. When Katie talks about her haters, these are the reasons why people don't feel sorry for her. Many people remember this harassment, doxing, and taking things real life that she would do on stream. What's that shit? People out here do. Oh, trust me, I've had it happen multiple times. And that was another argument that I always got into Doug with. Why the fuck are you responding to people? Any of these people? I don't care. The only one, I'd like, what if it was one of my mods, okay? I would still be pissed. And they damn know it. And so... 
I mean, I wouldn't even let my mods talk to people behind, like, or if you do that or go to my mods or whatever, I mean, you guys can talk to each other, I don't care. But if it's someone in my private life or my personal life and you're contacting them, like people try to contact my parents and tell them how horrible of a kid they raised and shit and then other ones just to be nice. Uh, don't do that shit. It's weird. It's fucking weird. It's like having a coworker or something and you start contacting their family to let them know something or try to whatever in the hell. Let's look back seven months they ago. They contacted Lisa and said that... Lisa, who's Megan? You're... I don't know, Megan. I don't see what the fuck this is. Who the fuck is Megan? Is what I'm saying. They're saying Megan and Doug are getting their inheritance. Who's Megan? Oh, well, that's my, my other sister. My long lost sister. Katie, you ungrateful bitch. You have been with Doug forever. No one he is from all time. All that. And you still act like you struggle and get common people's money off of you. Hold on. Fuck that and wait a minute. No. Doug, you see that shit? No. No, no. Motherfuck you. No. I'm just trying to get under your skin because you're drunk. I'm not drunk yet. Hey. I have always made my own shit. A hundred fucking percent. I don't care who the fuck he is or what family he comes from. Whatever. Is he worth the fucking life? Yeah. Doug, have you ever paid my rent? Yeah. Never. Never. Ah, fuck him. So, anyways, I got upset the other night when I was live, and of course, I was a little sloshed. I don't know what word to fucking put it, but when the women were telling me, oh, yeah, I talked to him the other night. Now, I'll, I'll give you this. They started contacting him the night that I, he left, and I was upset. They were like, one of them was like, how dare you leave Katie, and da 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 and he was trying to explain to the person no, I'm not leaving. I'm, I left to go get food because obviously she needs to eat. And then it was things like that. There was no like true hater or, or anything like that. It was people that were worried. But I don't give a fuck. You know? Go away. Damn, people. People just sit there and send you battle invites over and over again. So, I got upset when... I heard that he was talking to them, which anybody would be, right? You know? And that got me going. It, they fucking riled me up like a damn top. I was madder than shit. And then so, and he had fallen asleep, you know? So I woke his ass up while he was asleep, told him to get the fuck out. And that really hurt his feelings and pissed him off that I was listening. He was like, you tell me not to listen to these people. But yet, as soon as they started saying, oh, we were talking to you, you listen to him. I even, he was like, I'll even show you my phone. Everything that I said, and I, I looked at it. But still, it pisses me off. Like, there's no way of me not being pissed off about this. So, he goes home. He's mad about it. We argued all day. You know, here's the thing. If it's already, if it, this is a fresh relationship, if this is how it's going to be. Also, I haven't explained everything fully to him. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, we need to have a conversation about this. He said this the other day. Like, he was like, I don't get it. I don't understand. He was like, there's a fuck ton of people that watch you. And I had no idea. He was like, why didn't you tell me that you're some fucking TikTok star? I said, because I'm not. I'm a fucking has been from, I'm a has been from YouTube. I was like, the little numbers of people that do still watch me, I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't think about it, you know? And he was like, well, I never asked to be on any of this. And he really didn't. I kind of just threw him in there, you know? So, I don't know, guys. And that's what we were talking about all day yesterday. And he, I was like, 
<clears throat> I want to talk about this and, you know, get rid of this Michael Myers thing. So I was telling them, you know, I want to talk about it tonight. I don't want to fucking dwell on this. We got a wedding to go to tomorrow, which I don't even know if I'm going, to be honest with you. I haven't talked to him all day today, so I don't know. He's If he's going to be stuck in his feelings, I need to be the girl in the relationship. I can't have two girls in a relationship because it does not fucking work out. You know what I'm saying? So I would think he would be the person to call me. You so know, is she not, saying that men can't have feelings? Only Katie is allowed to have her feelings. You know, I'm not, I'm just surely not going to contact him. Ah. They're filtering messages. Hmm. I don't see it. Every once in a while, I'll see one that you got to approve. He needs to act right. Yeah, see, that got, just got filtered. I don't know why it's doing that. I do. I can't do the drama anymore. I, okay, I've been through so fucking much in the past four or five years, you know? Um, he didn't shake my dad's hand. When? My dad's never met him. When Trent met her dad, Trent didn't even get up to shake his hand. In fact, the dad was like, Katie, who's this? Is this Trent? Face bomb. Hey, everybody. It's a happy day here. Did I yell at the cops? They told you you were not driving, yes, and you would go to the... What? What did I say? Someone tell me what the fuck I said. Washington rural? Damn, that's a rough area. Oh, the other night he did? Hell, I don't even remember that. I wonder how my dad even knew. No, my dad. Because he lives next door to you, Ding Dong. He likely looked outside and saw the cops at her house. It sent me Taco Bell. I don't know the name on it. I didn't know, I recognize the name. I would never eat food sent to me that I had no idea who sent it. Oh, we saw that. What did the cops say the other night? I don't remember. I know when I get drunk and the cops come, I just totally disregard them. I'm like, get the fuck out of here and shit like that. Did I tell them to get the fuck out? Yeah, cops are down the street. I don't know. They're fucking with something else. They're about three deep. It's not us. Who cares? And you goddamn know if they come here, I'm going to tell them to get the fuck out of here and go on and get. Tell them to get the fuck out of here and go on and get. We know this. They all know me by the first, my first name. This guy isn't tough enough. I told him I was sad and going to the bar. What did they say? Fuck. You promised... What the fuck do you want? And I say, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, and it sounds legit. She's so pleased with herself. I 
How many was there? Jesus Christ, Katie. What if she did go to the bar? She's saying here that she doesn't even remember how many officers showed up. Or what she said to the officers. She's asking for something bad to happen. Most people would be horrified and concerned about this. But she thinks it's a good time. A great story. That's like the other night when I got pulled over. They already knew who I was. Katie Outlaw Roby, pull your Ford Focus over. Don't make me tase you again. He was like... Because I rolled down my window and I was like, what the fuck did I do? I wasn't speeding. Two. Um, yes, there are extensions. Oh, because one of the first things out of their mouth, when he, I was like, what the fuck did I do? I know I wasn't speeding. So, and this is as I'm rolling down my window and he's walking up and he was like, have you had anything to drink tonight? And I was like, not yet. And he was like, all right. He was like, I can tell. Like, he can tell I hadn't been drinking because I was, you know. And then he was like, your fucking plates are expired. And I was like, oh, I forgot about that. And I genuinely did. They had mailed me like a reminder and like everything else. I was like, hmm, and threw it off to the side. Forgot all the fuck about it. And then, yeah, Jesus. Have you been drinking? Fuck that. I hate being judged on my drinking when I'm not drinking. I'll, that's when I really get pissed off. Yeah, my last name's Roby, so it's always in like September. And I know this, but I forget. Yeah, it gets me riled up. And I'm an asshole, so. I'm sure I did. And then when I get drunk, I start yelling at the damn cops. No, it's like, leave me alone. You guys know people are going to call. You know I'm not going anywhere. So when they come over here and just, I don't know, it pisses me off. Drama, it pisses drama off too. We don't like to be disturbed. Especially if you have badges. People call and make up shit or just tell them what the fuck I'm saying and then they get worried and come out here. And I mean, this is all the time. A weekly affair. And it's usually the same ones. It's, you know, it's usually the same damn cops, so... How old am I? I'm 37. Who does that? Fucking psychos on the internet. Weirdos, man. I don't know what to call them. Weirdos. <sighs> We're getting trolled, guys. But bad thicky weenie. But bad thicky weenie. Um, I don't know. So that's that. I did try on the dress. I don't know how I feel about it. Mainly because I can't get the zipper up in the back. I need someone to help me zip it up. It's a little tight. It's a little bit tight. But the aqua one is very nice. I like that one. It's kind of big. Hey, Barbie. Yes, I was supposed to go to a wedding tomorrow night with Trent. I know you guys were trying to get me to turn... I mean... She could, but I don't be... 
I don't feel like fucking with it right now. I don't even know if I'm going. That's the thing. I don't know. As of right now, probably not. I haven't talked to him at all today. Which is weird because it's almost 5 o'clock. He don't even know that I got off work early. Brandy, it's been a hell of a ride. The past... Honestly, the past eight years have been a fucking shit show. I just, since I turned 30, life has been fucking wild. Ever since I had gastric bypass, life has been the craziest it's ever been in my life. Like. Right. It's because of gastric bypass. Every one of her problems she blames on the weight loss surgery. No accountability for her own choices or the fact she cut corners and didn't work through her food issues, which resulted in transfer addiction. It's been one thing after another. What happened was, when I was, you know, for years I was big, and I didn't go to the bars and shit. Well, when I did go, I'd be like quiet, and you know, because I was the fat girl there, and I was embarrassed, or I wasn't embarrassed, but I just didn't want anyone, don't, don't look at me, don't you look at me, kind of attitude. Then, when I lost the weight and I started getting attention like I never had before in my life, I get addicted to that, like, feel good is what it is. Like, it makes me feel good. So, I want to keep going back. But, it's done nothing but cause issues in my life. Became an alcoholic. And, yeah. So, honestly, losing weight was the worst thing I ever did for myself. I had nothing wrong with me before. I had nothing wrong. I was fat. I was fat as fuck, but I had no medical problems. Ever since I've had gastric bypass, it's been one fucking medical issue after another. Thank you. I got them done for the wedding because I wanted them to match, match my dress. See that? Do you see the little design? It's only on the accent fingers, but... Yeah. Whenever I don't... Whenever I feel bad or something, I'm like, I want to go to the bar. And then not even if I feel bad. Like, I just like to go there, I think, because I must be addicted to the fucking attention I get. That's the only explanation, because I'm definitely not a addicted to the fucking bar tabs or anything like that. And let's be honest, I don't really pay. Like, last night, I went alone. I seen my buddy there. He was like, hey, let me buy you a drink. Off the top, I got one. And then... I, he ends up having to leave, and I'm sitting there all alone in this bar that I, like, have been to one or two times maybe before. And the bartender, I actually knew the bartender because when I lived with Steven, we went to this bar called the West Side Pub all the time, and he used to be a bartender there. So I knew the bartender, and, like, I'm not kidding you. At one point, he came, and he, he was bringing me to, and then he was like, here. He just shook his head and sat another one down in front of me. And I was like, I'm not even done with this one. What are you doing? He was like, "Some that guy over there sending you a drink. And then I was like, all right. And as I'm drinking my drinks, listening to karaoke, I hear him. I hear the bartender say my name. And he's like, you want a lemon drop? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, all right. This guy right here is buying you a lemon drop. I was like, damn. See, that's that makes you feel good, you know? So by the end of the fucking night, my bar tab was only, like, I think it was $22. <laughs> so. I don't know how to get it out of my system. You know, it's just being honest here. I, there's nothing else. I, and like I said, I used to never get attention like that until I did lose weight. And now I think I'm just like fucking addicted to it or some shit. I really don't know what it is. Makes me feel good. So I'm like, yeah, this is a great feeling. Let's get fucking hammered. And then guys start sending me drinks or whoever, you know, and that that's all she wrote. Then I drink at home, too. But what about the hangovers? I don't get hangovers. Alcoholics don't get hangovers. I'll tell you, I don't feel good when I don't drink. Thank you, Ashley.
Oh, through and through. Anyone in my life who knows me will tell you I am 100% the definition of a functioning alcoholic. Um, I go to work. I do what I got to do, but I also drink. And like Trent said, he even told me you're a functioning alcoholic. And I was like, what the, exactly does that mean? He, he goes, you can do things drunk that normal people could not do at all if they had like one or two drinks. I mean, I mean, he rattled on, but it was something like that. And I was like, oh. All right. So it is what it is. Because it can't be what it's not. I say I want to quit drinking, but I don't. You know, if I wanted to quit drinking that damn bad, you'd think I'd gotten it done by now. So, I evidently, deep down inside, I drink the same thing I, if I'm at home or if I'm at the bar. I don't know if I can say it. If you know it, you can type it out. I'm a fabulous functioning alcoholic. I know. I, I do deserve my, but I, it's got to start with me. I got to start doing better by myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> water. I don't drink water. Fish have sex in that. Gross. The only water I get is my ice cubes in my drink. Oh, fuck yeah, I black out. Absolutely. Oh, dude, we could be here even at home. Mainly at home. Check out your dentist in Plainfield. Um, I don't know. There's times where I'm live and I'm just talking and talking. I don't remember any of it. I don't fucking remember a thing that I said. I don't remember. I have to ask to remember the cops coming over. I remember being upset that Trent left. I remember my dad coming over and giving me meatloaf. But about then I ate and fucking asked out. Yeah, my livers, believe it or not, ain't too bad. <clears throat> that's one thing I don't have, you know, and I, that surprises the fuck out of me. It really does. But when I do get, like, my vitals back and all that, I mean, yeah, there, it's not perfect, but it's not horrible either. From a titten. Where have you been? That usually will get her to fuck off. She don't like to be picked up or held or anything. So if she starts bugging, I'll pick her up and kiss the shit out of her and she'll usually takes off. I am alone. You got that's the thing. People say you're not there ain't nobody here. There's no me and the dog and the cat. Fuck. Any guy that I date, I uh, I don't know why I do it, but I run him off. And I do it as a defense, you know? You guys, my house needs to be clean. Get the yeah. hell out of here. Don't come back. Mm -hmm. We were talking about you. Not, Not to you. you. But here you are. Hold on, I'm grabbing something. I got a present from one of you lovely people. Okay. I got a present. I want to see what's in it. Okay, no, I thought the address was on there. Not my address. Everybody fucking knows that one. I thought maybe their address is on it.
See what's in here. Oh, there's a, quite a few things in here. Okay. All right. I can already tell you this who this box is for. This is for the Tittens and the Pup. I think it's from, yeah, it's from PDQ. I didn't know if she wanted me to tell anybody. It's from PDQ. She's usually in the chat, but she's doing shit tonight, so. First thing I see, milk bones for Baby Royal. Everyone hashtag PDQ. She loves my pup, and you don't. And then... Health bars baked with bacon, egg, and cheese. And that's that expensive brand, too. That's good shit. That's expensive stuff. I can't ever afford this kind of thing. He gets the Dollar Tree treats and the, uh, he likes those one kind of bones. They're like this and they're real thin. Like, it takes him a minute to chew. Really, it doesn't, but. A love note. See that? Treats. Oh, good, because I'm out of cat food. Uh, fancy feast. I'm going to give one to uh, Drum and Titten. Are you hungry? We're, see, I kissed her and she fucked off. Uh, fancy feast. Which they love that stuff. And then goat's milk. Go goat's milk. Here it's facial cleansing wipes, hand cream. I don't know, some other kind of gel looking thing, probably moisturizer and soap. That's cool. I like goat cheese. Maybe I like the goat's milk products. Oh, it's taped down. No wonder. I was like, why in the fuck is this not opening? No smell to it. Oh fuck. It don't have any. It don't have no smell to it, guys. Make your hands soft. I don't know what the hell this is. This is like face cream. It doesn't say. It just says pure goat milk. It doesn't say on thing what exactly it is. Yeah, it's Beekman 1802, I think. Yeah, Beekman 1802. That's cool. I can always use the face wipes too. Excellent. I like this gig. Is PDQ in here? Thank you, PDQ. I love it all. And I know the pup will too, and so will the kittens. I'm going to actually feed drama right now. I'm not going to read this until I get offline. Very nice. Open the card, but don't read it. Sometimes it seems like life is two steps forward and one step back. You told me not to read it, so the first thing I do is read Ah! Never mind reading it when you get this inside. Thank you! Now that makes me happy. 
I love Starbucks. I haven't been going there this year. Last year, I went there like every fucking day and I realized how much money I was spending on it. This year, I can't afford it. That's cool. Even the better. This just gets better and better. I'm not going to read what's inside because she doesn't want me to. But I'll show you the front of the card. Hell yeah. That's very nice. Hashtag PDQ. Let's go feed the tin. Thank you, PDQ. This is a great gift. This makes me feel way better on a shitty day. I think we're going to feed her some salmon and shrimp feasting gravy. Drama? I gotta find her. She fucked off. Drum and tin tin! Drum and tin There she is. Oh, she knows what this means. There you go. That's not. She's eating it. She's not that much into moist food like Bobo's is. So what she don't eat, when Bobo's comes back inside, he'll scarf it all up. Bobo just can't help himself when it comes to moist food. Go outside for a minute. Here we go. It's going to get bright. I need to dig up my potatoes. I'm going to try to sit. See, there's all kinds of bugs and shit on this chair. That's where I let my company sit, not me. Now I got sunshine coming out of my ass. Exactly how it should be. But no, that was a very nice gift, PDQ. I appreciate it. I haven't gotten any gifts lately. I already worked this morning. And I got to work a double on Sunday. And if and I definitely want to do that because that's excellent money on Sundays. So I, she didn't want me going into overtime. So she's like, take the rest of the day off. I'm like, all right. Plus, my parents' dog died today. And it's been an emotional day. Still haven't heard from Trent. He didn't even know that I'm off work early either. But I'm not going to call him. It's his job to call me and contact me. I have mail. Yeah, I know. It's a bunch of fucking ads. Nothing important. I literally ciphered through it and was like, hmm, there's my registration. I'll take that out and the rest can sit in there. Hey, Bella. So anyways, yeah, that's the catch up for everything. Now, any questions? Now, I will be taking questions. And by the way, if you like my necklaces, which I don't know why they're flipped around, motherfuckers. My friend makes these, and she will make you one if you're into nature, whatever you're into. She has tons and tons of charms. She's, uh, she's a crafty person. This one has an elephant on it. Why she felt I needed an elephant, but I don't know. But I, what I really like is this little jewel she put down there, and then... Like I said, a butterfly. So if you're interested in any of them, let me know and tell me your favorite colors and what you would want on there. And she'd be more than happy to make you one.
Dave F., how are you? Oh my God, I've got to hit like block so people quit sending me battle requests. I don't want to battle no one. I got to clean my house. What's up, love, Jana? I'm just going to chill at home tonight. Like I said. I have nothing to do. I didn't even expect to be off. Now that I'm off, it's just like, I guess I'll clean. That's what I need to do. You guys ever get hair on your big toe? I do. What the hell? I got my hair colored like like a week or two ago. Yeah, I get like these long blonde hairs and sometimes in the sunlight I can see them. Because I always forget to, like, shave it when I'm in the shower. <laughs> so, I burn it off. Wow. I try to have a good sense of humor. <laughs> oh, yeah, the toe. That, oh, God. You want to suck on that toe, don't you? You definitely lick it. All right, PDQ. <laughs> you want to suck on that little nub. Dude, the toenail was like that. Very little. On a big old fucking toe. <laughs> oh my god. Why did you even remind me of that? Oh, I do too. I just I shave that shit off. I'll tell you where I get. I get hair right here. And a little patch right here. I gotta hit it with a razor. If I don't, they're like whiskers. They grow out really fucking... <laughs> when you were mad, you showed us his toe. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, an, I'm a horrible person. What can I say? If I had to look at it, you did too. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. I really am. I own it. <laughs> I did. I was mad, so I showed everyone the toe. The one that Critical Meditator wants to suck on. It's got like this little bitty toenail and a big fat toe. <laughs> I like my toenails a little bit longer. I know some people think it's disgusting, but I don't. I think it's hot. I don't know about hot, but I'll show you my toes. It's better than that nub that you seen the other night. I'll tell you that. How am I going to show you? I guess I got to like hold my foot up. Can you guys see them? See that? My big toe. The toe nail is a little bit longer. I don't know why I do that. I always have. I think I get it from Lana. When I was a kid, I used to think, oh my god, her toenails are so long. They're like claws, right? But as I get older, I'm like, I need a little bit of claw to my toenail. For like itching and stuff like that. Like when I'm in bed and I want to itch my leg, I just get, I scratch it with my toenail.
My mom's outside now. I look nice today? Why is that? I did nothing different. No, I haven't talked to Trent today, and I'm not going to contact him first because I feel like it's his job to contact me, especially after what's happened in the last couple days. Like, last night, out of everything, was uncalled for, and I'm just like, maybe I am I was the asshole the first two nights, but last night I felt like that one's on him. And honestly, you guys, I can't, I don't want fucking drama in my life. I got enough drama with my medical problems, with everything else. I just need a man who's going to be able to put up with me, and that's it. And if you can't, you can't. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to. It must be the glowing on my hair. Yeah, the sun. You guys think it looks good. Thank you. I got the sunshine around me. My aura. What does anyone see auras? What's my aura? I don't have a mom. I've never had a mom. Well, I call Lana my mom because she's been around for a while now. But I don't. Have, I have a mom, but my mom died long time ago and I was raised by my dad so that's why I'm rough I think I just get it naturally I guess I get it natural I don't know by the way my herb garden is nice and fucking dead I don't know what happened there well I can tell you I had Cuzzo, I told him to put some miracle Grow on it and water him, and I don't know what he did. He must have put fucking poison on it, because ever since he, and that was months ago, he watered him, they all died. Now these may look like weeds, but they're not. Those are potatoes over there and back in there as well. These definitely are fucking weeds. But I have to chop down all the weeds to get to the potatoes. And I'm just, it's going to be a fucking job and I don't want to do it. Because I'm lazy. Purely fucking lazy. Thought I heard my dad outside, but I didn't. Yeah, and see those weeds? Those aren't the kind of weeds that are just, you can just yank up because I let them go for so long. That I'm going to have to like weed eat them or something, get a machete and fucking knock those down. But again, I'm lazy, so I don't see that happening. No, oh, speak of the devil. I got a funny, I got a funny for you. So we got a new manager, right? It's a, it's a new guy manager. And the other night, 
and, and what pisses me off is why do I get the talking to and no one else does? But anyways, I was cashing out the other night and I was giving my man, she had to give me my money. And her and the other manager, he's real cool. I love all my managers, except for one in particular one. Because I don't think she likes me. But anyways, um, they were like, so we got a new manager starting tomorrow. And he... They were, I was like, okay, cool, what, what the fuck's it to me? And they were like, and we do not want you fraternizing with this manager, and you need to know your boundaries as an employee and a, a manager. I was like, what in the fuck? And then he came in the next day, and I was like, oh, they got fucking nerve, thinking I would be, so what did I do? I smiled real big at him. Ask my other friend at work. Did they tell you not to flirt with the new manager? And she said no. Why the fuck would they do that? And I was like, I don't know. I was just asking. I knew damn well what they were. Anyways. Pretty funny that I'm the chosen one. Huh, weird. Know your place as an employee and respect your managers and no fraternizing. Off and on for a long time. This eyelash today has a mind of its fucking own. Who knows? Who cares? Tracy, who cares? Angela Gano, the news reporter. If that's who you're talking about, and if it's not that, then I don't know. I don't hunt down. I don't look for shit that people are talking shit about me for. I, in fact, I I don't read it. I don't care. It's none of my business. If you're not talked about, you're not relevant. So people out there who like to talk shit about me or my family or any of that, they can all fucking kiss my ass, you know? Because they're watching me. I'm not watching them. And I don't make fun of no one. I stay in my own lane. It's a story on your sister, you know? You brought it up, I'll go ahead and say it. My sister's getting indicted because she is a nurse practitioner and she got in trouble for scripts. That's all I'm going to say. Until it goes to trial, that's all I'm going to say. She's innocent. So, that's that. fucking news wrote a big has her mug shot and everything on the news and Muncie nurse Meredith Bryles 45 is charged in Delaware Circuit Court 5 with obtaining a controlled substance by fraud or deceit possession of a narcotic drug and failure to make keep or furnish a record all three charges are level 6 felonies carrying up to 30 months in prison In the Indie Star, front page. There you are. Because people stalk the fuck out of me, Kitty. What do you mean? How do they know? There's people who live in Indiana that see things. Like her sister's picture on the front page of the newspaper. Like Katie just said. On the news, Facebook groups, etc. It's like they, 
they look for shit to fucking criticize me about or whatever anybody I, i'm sure i'm not the only one they do it to but if they're fucking with me they're leaving somebody else alone turn off thank you people keep sending me those requests and i keep declining it finally they just gave me the option to turn it completely off yeah i'm an indie West Side. I'm in Brownsburg. So it's Hendricks County. I've lived out here about four years now. Rough area. I live between uh, Sherman and Rural, off of St. Alany, where Alany turns into St. Clair. Back by the old RCA building. In the fucking hood. Because my dad was poor. But I'll tell you what. Even though my dad was poor and shit. He refused to let me go to Indianapolis public schools. He paid tuition at Catholic schools my entire life. Hmm. Never heard this before. She goes back and forth from saying her dad was rich and calling Lana a gold digger. To next time she tells it he's always been dirt poor and barely scraped by. To now he made sure he was able to send her to a private Catholic school. Which one is it? That's one thing. Yeah, I went to Little Flower. First through eighth grade, and then uh, Cecina, and then um, I ended up finishing at New Pal. Did I like the Catholic school? I didn't know anybody. In fact, I think we were worse than the damn public school kids. Because, like, all my, fr all my friends in the neighborhood, they went to public school. And then I went to private school, but, hell, I was... We all did the same shit. I don't think it was really any different. Maybe better education, I guess. But, yeah, that paid off, didn't it, Dad? I'm a fucking waitress. And I went so far in life. Um, maybe better education, but other than that, we were all doing kid shit. I know, but I'm never going to be able to retire. Ever. I'm in Brownsburg. Yes, I'm in Indiana. I live in Brownsburg, Indiana. Thirty fourth and Molero. I know. I know where that's at. I just moved out to Brownsburg. I'll be honest with you. So I have shit credit, and um, I have a big. Well, at the time I didn't have my big dog, but I had many factors, and everything on like the west side is getting bought up by like first key homes and all these like rental companies, and you got to jump through hoops to get in there. Like you got to make three times the amount of rent. You got to have first month, last month's rent good credit and fucking a DNA sample and all these things and I kept applying and I kept getting I kept getting declined from all of them that I would try like about the fourth one and like sometimes they charge you like 50 to 100 dollars just for an application fee I was you went to Warren I almost went to Warren at one point because I got kicked out <laughs> I got expelled from school my freshman year mm -hmm. Because I'm a moron. Absolute fucking moron for this. We were in home ec class. And I thought it would be... We were having a brownie cook-off. And the principal and, like, our teachers were going to sample them and say who had the best brownies. Well, I thought it was brilliant for me to bring in a bag of you-know-what of green and throw it into the brownies. I didn't know you had to make, like, butter back then or anything. So I got some and I put them in the batter. And as soon as that fucker started heating up, all you could smell was straight dank through the home ec room. And of course, they, and then there were little green spread. I, I try to deny it, but there were little green spread. So all my brownie, they had to call the cops and all kinds of shit. It was ridiculous. I got expelled. And so my dad was like, all right, you got to go to Warren. And I was like, I don't want to go to Warren. So we ended up using my mom's address and I went to New Pal. Because my mom lived in New Pal like her whole entire life. It's stupid. The stupidest shit. Now that I look at it back, I was like, what the fuck were you thinking? And you wasted a whole bag. You were dumb. 
And I'm telling you, it was no sense, like... I'd say, like, five or ten minutes into it, the whole home ec room just started smelling like... My, my home. It started smelling like my house. And I was like, oh, fuck. I didn't think this went through. No, oh, stab act like I was trying to like kill him or something. What's up, Isaiah? My parents surely didn't think it was funny. I got a good good ass whooping for that one. And I got expelled. And the cops were there and everything. Like I thought I was going to prison. Is that Hollywood? I got sad news. Sabrina passed away this morning. My dad's upset. My mom's upset. We're all upset. We had to take her to get incinerated or whatever you call it. The ground's too hard to dig a hole. And plus, who the fuck's going to go out there and dig a hole? The pup. Well, she's 14-year-old dog. My dad's tore up over it. Cremated. What did I say? No, my dad's not convinced we're going to get the right ashes back. He's like, they just throw them in there. And he's like, and then they did, you know, they, and they just get a little shovel and put whatever. You could have your dog, this dog, that dog. He was like, I don't like this idea, but what can we do? Yeah, and they said that if Trump got elected in the first place, you know, why the fuck is Rosie O'Donnell still here? I thought she was leaving the country if Trump got in, and her ass is still here. People talk big, and they don't do shit. I don't know about you guys, but Rosie O'Donnell gets on my fucking nerves. I've never really liked her. I liked her in a league of our own when I was a kid and didn't know better. But then when I grew up and then her show and all that, and I got to know more of her, I was like, I don't like her. Kind of dog. Um, so, we believe she was a Rottweiler mixed with a shepherd. Um, we, she's a mutt. Is she a nightmare? I believe that. I believe that. I've, I've heard that Ellen DeGeneres is uh, horrible to work for, too. But I don't know for sure. Never worked for her. You good? Oh, it's a fucking bird. I thought it was a baby crying. I was born and raised on the east side. And then... When I was 24, I ended up moving in with Doug, and he lived on the west side. And I lived with him up until I was about 32. Then I uh, lived in... Uh, I would, still lived on the west side. I lived on the west side since I've been 24, but I was born and raised on the east side. I tapped after this. She went on streaming, and as you saw, she did go to the wedding with Big Titty Trent. It's been a mess between them. 
Buckle up, y'all. It's going to be a ride. She treats people so poorly and expects them to take it. Maybe one day he will learn. Thanks for watching.